Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Used to be a day where when you were writing software, uh, you would have it stored locally on one computer. Nowadays, you can upload your code to the web, and some people, you might have heard, have uploaded their code to be shared with other people. And there are also uh, some instances where you have more than one person working on the same code, the same document, if you will. So uh, there needed to be some kind of system that made it easier for, let's say, two programmers to work on the same code base at the same time and not clobber each other. So uh, this type of system uh, you know, has, has evolved over time, this uh, uh, ability to collaborate on, on programming. And before too long, many people were using this thing called subversion uh, to have you know, revisions and, 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 and kind of paper trails of sorts of anything that was related to code. Uh, and you could use this for your, uh, your own code, you could use it for open source code. You could use it for a variety of ways. doesn't mean that subversion was perfect. It's just a lot of people were using it. Uh, then along came Git. And if you've never heard of Git, uh, you may want to check it out. It's kind of neat, especially if you're, if you're a developer. I guarantee you've heard of Git. But I just want to bring everybody up to speed if you had not heard of it. GitHub is pretty much the world's leading uh, open source uh, repository. So if you have an open source project, GitHub is pretty much the place where you want to host it. And I mean, it's, it's similar to what you may have done in terms of version control uh, for your uh, programming. Uh, there's uh, something that you know, we wanted to do as, as we have released, or I guess kind of inspired various open source projects over the years. Uh, one of the things that we wanted to do is, is write a very quick, simple guide to get you started with GitHub. Move over to GitHub. If you have some open source projects you've been thinking about uh, contributing uh, to, uh, or, or you know, if you want to work on open source projects, uh, this would be the place to be. And uh, you know, like I said, I, I, I throw ideas out there all the time, and people have developed, uh, you know, based on my ideas. And I wish I something did this. And they create uh, software, and then they put it on a place like GitHub, where anybody can download it, modify it, fork it, do whatever they wanted to do with it. Uh, and it's really, uh, I mean, as far as version control systems go, it's easy. And uh, I, I'm not going to say that everybody's using it. Certainly, there are benefits and drawbacks to it. But Eddie Ringel uh, is uh, one of those uh, who uh, adopts these things really quickly and probably one of the more skilled uh, developers that I've ever had the, the opportunity to work with. If I come up with a shortcoming, he thinks about it for a minute and says, here's the solution. And instead of just keeping it to himself, he puts it on GitHub. That's nice because then other people can take advantage of that. He just wrote a plugin for WordPress the other day. Uh, I think it's the multi author payment processing or something like that, MAPP, M-A-P-P -P for short, and he has it on GitHub. So if you have WordPress and you deal with multiple authors on that blog, you may consider using this new plugin that won't cost you anything, and it will make your life better because instead of keeping it to himself, he's open sourced it. And uh, if you wanted a good place to start, GitHub would be it. If you're looking for kind of a quick start starting point for GitHub and why you might want to use GitHub over any other version control system, we've outlined it uh, for you on uh, this particular article on LockerGnome.com.